I forgot to film my intro, so sorry for the location. This is like my makeup area. I don't know, do you guys, would you guys like me to film in here? It's kind of an awkward position. Anyways, today we are doing a first impression, testing out a whole bunch of new products from Wet n Wild. I have the new Photo Focus foundation and the concealer. Oh, well, that's not the concealer. This is the concealer and the liquid lipsticks. I also have the pressed powder and the rainbow highlighter. So if you guys want to hang tight, we're going to jump right into the demonstration and testing out these new bad boys right here. I'll have all the products listed down below in the description box. Definitely check that out. I hope you guys are having a really great holiday season and let's get into the demo. <laughs> demonstration! Guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's start with foundation first. I did not apply a primer, but I did moisturize my skin. I did fill in my brows real quickly and did a quick little eye look just so I have a little bit of makeup already on <laughs> to see how it's going to look once you put the foundation on. So I did something a little bit different, switching it up today. Hopefully this turns out good. Fingers crossed. So the first product here is the new foundation from Wet n Wild, of course. This is the Photo Focus foundation and I did pick the shade Porcelain, which is the lightest shade in the collection. This retails for $5.99 on the Wet n Wild website. It comes in 20 different shades. They have a lot of colors to choose from, so I'm really happy that there's a large selection of colors. There's also a lot of fair, very light shades. You guys know I love the Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation, which is one of my holy grail favorites. I am going to swatch these side by side in just a moment. And I'm kind of curious to compare this to a couple other uh, foundations that I have in the shade Porcelain as well, just to compare and see how light this really is. I'm going to read off what it says on their website. Um, this claims to be a high-performing breakthrough formula featuring light-adjusting complex to help prevent white casts in photos. So this mainly claims to be good for photography, but it doesn't really say how much coverage. So I'm really interested to see um, the coverage in this foundation. So the packaging is really nice and sleek. Comes in a square glass bottle. Do get one fluid ounce which is great and also this product is vegan. They do have a little vegan sticker now if you can see right here in the lower um wait where is it? In this corner right here see the little V sticker? That means vegan so that's really awesome that uh, they're starting to label what is vegan what is not so it makes it easier for you guys. So here's what the applicator looks like. It's just a flat plastic applicator. It's not a sponge, it's just plastic. I'm not very thrilled with the um, <laughs> with this particular style of packaging. I would prefer a pump. I just think a pump makes more sense. This looks like a very, very, I don't know if you can see or not, but a very, very liquid foundation. All right, so here's a few swatches here just to compare this to other foundations. So right here is the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Here we have the Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation in Fair, which is the lightest shade. This one is the LA Girl Pro Illuminating Foundation in Porcelain. And this is also Porcelain from Hard Candy and it's the Glamouflage Foundation. So you can tell a huge difference between the Cover All Foundation from Wet n Wild and then the new foundation. This one is definitely more of a pinky tone. It is definitely much darker. I do sometimes have to lighten that shade when I do use it, but this is definitely a very light shade and that is again Porcelain. So that's just a little comparison right there. Hi right, guys, let's go ahead and test out this foundation. I'm going to apply as usual when I do a first impression or even a review with a foundation. I like to apply one side of my face with a sponge and one side with a brush. This is half of a brush. <laughs> all of my foundation brushes are dirty. I'm sorry, but this is all I have. This is the um, e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush Foundation Brush. By the way, I hope you guys had a really awesome Christmas. This will probably be up on Tuesday, so like the Tuesday after Christmas. By the time I upload this, I would have already went to Pennsylvania. Yeah, I went to Pennsylvania for Christmas. Hopefully I had a good time. I don't know. <laughs> I'll update you guys. But I'm going there to spend um, the holidays with my in-laws, my husband's side of the family. All right, I'm going to go put this on the back of my hand. This is very liquid. I'm just going to pick up a little bit on my booty blender and we're going to see how the coverage is and the color. So yeah, I really hope you guys had a good Christmas. I feel kind of weird like opening this. I wanted to get this video up s sooner, but 
things were just really crazy. You guys know how it is around the holidays when you're traveling and you have to plan your trip. All right, guys, so I did one thin, even layer on this side of my face. And I have to say, I really like how this is blending out. Color matches me perfectly. This is definitely more of a neutral tone. It doesn't lean super pink. It doesn't lean super yellow. I really like foundations more of a neutral tone. Even though this is very liquid, I have to say the coverage is great. I'm going to kind of scooch up here so you can see a little bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and apply on this side with a brush. So I wasn't expecting this, but I actually feel like this side looks really patchy with the brush. I prefer the sponge, so definitely I feel like this foundation applies a lot better and it looks more smooth and really nice with the sponge versus the brush. So I'm going to take a little bit more and just go back through with the sponge. I'm not going to even bother with the brush because I don't like how it looks. Oh my god, you guys, I love this foundation. I don't know how it's going to wear throughout the day, but I can already tell you I love it. I can't believe I'm saying that. Maybe I'm jumping the gun, but the, the way it applies with a sponge is beautiful. I would say that this has a very natural finish, almost like a semi-matte, but it's not very illuminating, but it's not extremely drying. It is almost on the verge of being a little too dry for me. Now, I do have very dry sensitive acne prone skin that is my skin type i really love how even though this formula is really thin it has great coverage i mean i feel like i only did two very thin layers all over and it's full coverage like what the heck so i definitely feel like this is buildable coverage i was able to build it up in areas where i might need a little extra coverage there so this is the Photo Focus Concealer. I did get the lightest shade, which is Light Ivory. Now this is very limited in shade range compared to the foundation, which had 20 shades. So this concealer only comes in six shades. It's $3.99 on the Wet n Wild website. I did order all of these things, by the way, from the website, in case I forget to tell you guys. But the lightest shade is Light Ivory, and it's really, really dark, you guys. I really like the packaging. Um, this concealer is also vegan as well, which is really awesome. So it just has a simple doe foot applicator. Nothing too crazy. All right, let's go ahead and apply this. I'm really con con curious to see. And, well, what the heck, we'll do a little bit on the nose and chin. And a tiny bit through here like all the other beauty gurus, even though I don't really typically do that. <laughs> you just feel kind of fancy when you do it that way. All right, I'm gonna use my beauty blender because that's what I always do to blend up my concealer. All right, so that actually blended out really, really nicely. I like the texture. It's it's not too thick, but it's not too thin, so it's not as liquid like the foundation. I just wish that this would come in like maybe three. I mean, they should have at least ten shades of the concealer, don't you think? I mean, I think six is very limited considering all the foundations. I mean, it doesn't look too dark. It actually blended in really nicely, so I can get away with this, but this is not going to be light enough to highlight underneath the eyes or to like really brighten really like the consistency it has really decent coverage all right so far so good we tried out the foundation and concealer let's go ahead and test out the new powder so this is the photo focus again the photo focus pressed powder and this is in the shade warm light so this retails for $4.99 on the wet n wild website so i see eight shades on the website in total here's what the packaging looks like really nice actually i like the packaging it's a very thin compact you just get your powder and it's sort of in a domed shape. You can see that there. It's just like a domed shape to it. You guys know I love the Coverall Press Powder in Fair. I'm going to hold this up just so you guys can get a little idea. So here I have the Coverall Press Powder in Fair. Can you see the difference how much darker and warmer this one is? So definitely I feel that this is going to be a little bit challenging if you have very fair skin. So I'm going to use a large powder brush. That's what I've been using lately. This is from Real Techniques, and this is their powder brush. It's really, really big, so I'm just going to gently press my brush in here. 
Oh my god, yeah, I can tell already, you guys. Look how dark it is. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. All right, hopefully this isn't going to darken the foundation too much. We shall see. So I do feel like that warmed up my skin tone a little bit, so this powder doesn't really match me very well. So if you are really pale like me, or even lighter than I am, this is going to be too dark, and this is the lightest shade. Uh, the powder feels very, very silky. It doesn't have very much coverage, so this is more of a like finishing or setting powder. It does have a really silky, smooth texture, so I really like the formula of the powder, and I feel like it really is going to be a nice setting powder for the face. So I'm definitely not going to use that powder for setting my concealer. I'm just going to use a different one. This is from the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. I'm just going to do that really quickly and I'll be right back. Alright, so we have the foundation on, we have the concealer and the powder. So far, you guys, I'm really happy with everything except for the colors of the concealer and powder. I wish they were just a little bit lighter because I actually am thrilled with the formula on both products. I like the concealer. Everything looks really nice. I'm going to throw on a little bit of like a contour slash bronzer. Just popping a little blush on and I have to say already you guys, this foundation is holding up so well through the face beating. <laughs> so everything is blending beautifully over top of this foundation. The last product we're going to test out is a new highlighter. Now I think this is limited edition. It finally was back in stock so I'm like, you know what, I gotta order it. Oh, it is the rainbow highlighter. It's the color icon rainbow highlighter and this is called Unicorn Glow. So here is what the rainbow highlighter looks like. Oh my god, you guys. It looks so pretty. This is, I believe, limited edition. I'll put the price here on the screen because I don't remember. I believe it was $4.99. So I know a while back that unicorn like rainbow highlighters were all the rage, and I think they're still kind of popular. So it's really awesome that Wet n Wild came out with a drugstore option. So I'm actually going to use the e.l.f. fan brush because all, like I said, I need to wash my brushes, girls. Uh, it's really bad. So I guess I'm just going to take the fan brush and go sweep across all the colors like this. All right, let's do it. We're going to look like a unicorn. Oh, snap. Look at that. So I don't really see like, I see kind of like a yellow. I see a little bit of yellow, a little bit of the blue. But we're just going to go for it. I'm really seeing more of a golden hue, but it's very light. It's definitely very pale. Okay, this is going to be my new favorite highlighter, I can already tell you guys. I like it. Okay, you guys, I'm really happy with everything. Okay, I almost forgot. There's one more product we haven't tried yet. Alright guys, are you ready? The last product we have here to try out is a liquid lipstick. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so... Wet Mall came out with the Liquid Catsuit Matte Liquid Lipsticks and I bought five shades. Let me know if you guys want to see a lip swatch like separate video and review on these guys. I will definitely do that for you. But I think I'm going to have to go with this one because, oh my god, do you see this color, you guys? It is like a nude gray beige taupe. And this one is called Nudie Patootie. Let's put it on. Oh my god, you guys, this color is gorgeous. This is the perfect, oh my god, this is the perfect, like, dead girl nude. It's, like, taupe, but, like, a little hint of brown. It's very cool toned, so if you like those cool toned, sort of taupey colors. Oh my god, again, this is Nudie Patootie. All right, guys, so that was my first impressions, trying out some new products. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today. I sure had a blast trying out all these new products. You can get all of these on the Wet n Wild website. Now I'm not sure when you'll start seeing like the foundation, the concealers in store. I've heard like rumors and online and from what Wet n Wild has been saying is that they will be releasing these in January. So keep your eyes out. They might already be out in a store near you. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. I'm gonna post new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday. I will see you all in the next video. I hope you all had a great Christmas. I love you guys so much. Thank you for an awesome year. 
and I'm just so excited to see what 2017 holds for all of us. I'm really excited. So I will see you all next time. I love you guys so much. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.